Okay, today we are going to install a fiber optic site. And I was asked in the past to do it, but it wasn't quite right. I couldn't get it off the Red Rider that I put it on. And so I was having to replace a fiber optic site from the 1999, which I just bought. I had 1800 shots through it. I couldn't get the accuracy I was expecting. I did take it into the gun shop and of course after weathering the remarks on how pretty the color was, how pretty the gun was, is that one of the guys took it, grabbed it by the button right here and moved it and he said I needed a new front sight. And I know other people use foam and spray different stuff in there which is technically a mod. As he said, changing out the front sight is the proper way to do it. Unfortunately, there's a high frequency of these models coming with loose sights which destroys the potential accuracy of the gun. So a lot of people don't know that. Okay, so we have the one a spare one. So this is perfect. So I have a spare one I ordered. I figured that, you know, if I'm placing the order and shipping and handling, you know, I, I got a good deal. It's just three bucks. But I figure I may as well order two since I'm I'm paying shipping. And okay, there's the old one. Now you can see that it's slightly smaller. Let's zoom in on this and take a look at this. And so you can see that I was justified in taking it off. After 1,800 shots, I just was not getting any accuracy. Barely better than my Super Buck, if that. So you see the old uh, one that came with the 1999 shorter. And also it's oval. So if we turn this around, you will see this is perfectly round. This is more oval. I can tell you, if you can't tell, it's shaped more like an egg. And that can't be good. I don't think this is a failure on engineering level. It's on the factory floor. Maybe it got stepped on. They're in a hurry. They have a foreman crack in the whip. And this thing is oval. It was loose to the touch. Now, so what you do is you're going to take a razor knife like this. You can see where I, I whittled away on it. I said whittle. So you choke up on it with your thumb like that and you whittle away on it. Okay, while well, it's in your gun. You're probably going to want to put tape, like electrical tape or something, up along this the metal right here and the thing you want to guard against is, is being uh trying to be a tough guy and just using a screwdriver and jamming this out of there because that could damage the sheet metal and you want to be careful while you're whittling not to scratch off the paint with this with a knife like this okay there we go we don't want to scratch anything okay so let's go ahead and review removing the factory site the factory site is very easy to come off and this is part of the problem and so we just push with one hand, push on the site with one hand, get a screwdriver down there, and you push at the back of the button, okay? And there we go, it just pops right off. And that right there was not great as far as that, the potential of that gun ever getting good accuracy, but this buck is just strictly for me to tinker with. So, okay, so the site's been removed. Now, demonstrating with the old one that's been chiseled away is so then we just pop it on there now what you want to do is there is obviously the straw or the barrel right there there you go so what we want to do is use a rod and it'll help guide it into place okay so we line it up get it through there and that helps line it up on the barrel and helps us get it into position there okay so there we go and then we just push and there it is now that's that's how it's done and i can tell you that on this 1999 and i had to replace that's a brand new fiber optic on i had to replace one fiber optic with another fiber optic and i wasn't really happy that oops sorry wasn't really happy that i had to do that but it's, it's finally giving me the accuracy i want now which is, okay, there we go, is, again, that's a new one, is about um, two inch uh, accuracy up to 20 yards. And it's not quite as accurate as my Red Rider has a metal lever on it too, but the guys at the gun shop made clear that it is the fiber optic sight, not the metal lever that's gonna give you ultimate accuracy as far as being snug on that straw. That's your real barrel. So, okay, so that's what that looks like. And Again, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate on here what it was like when I was taking it. This was the original site on my 1999 that I took off. So again, 
you're going to you're going to get in closer and hold on okay and we're going to chisel you're going to choke up on that blade and you're going to chisel don't try doing it one sweep and trying to be a gorilla or superman he-man you just gently just whittle away on it and that's what i did i just whittled away on it till i could get under here without damaging the metal so now i'll go ahead and demonstrate so i whittled away just like i showed you and demonstrate and then when i took a lot off of it then i just pushed it off my 1999 pulled it off okay and let's take a close look at that so you can see how much i whittled away okay as you can tell there we go i whittled away quite a bit all right so that those markings you see on is because i whittled away at it so it's basically i took the button almost off but i was able to demonstrate for you so i'm pretty happy with that i was able to demonstrate how to take off factory site how to put on the fiber octocyte and how i took it off originally so again i want to conclude by just saying that again this was kind of a special video is that i wasn't planning to remove a fiber optic site to replace it with another one but i didn't really have a choice it wasn't it wasn't working uh this one's oval so something happened on the factory floor um it was loose in the barrel i can tell you this one that i have on here now for the 1999 it's it's not wiggling around at all and I would tell you, once you put it on, don't play with it. Don't try taking it off. You risk damaging, well, destroying the accuracy of your gun. And you risk damaging the plastic and potentially the metal, which would make it even more of a permanent uh, problem. So once you get your uh, fiber optics sight on, just enjoy it for the life of the gun. Thank you.